Hi everybody, my name is Sarah. Welcome to my channel or my Facebook page. Anyway, um, I was walking today and um, I didn't have time for a bathrobe chat then because I wanted to make sure that I got my walk in and um, you'll like me better. And um, so I came home, got ready, got, now I'm ready for work. Taking the Jeep today, so I'm going to have a little feeling of being 20 years old. And I was listening to um, a doctor's podcast, and uh, interesting, just always interesting, of course, and sometimes it's TMI, but um, at least if I'm going to listen to it, it's when I'm walking in the dark that I can um, absorb the most of it. It's certainly not when the day is humming and there's all kinds of noises. So one of his topics today was he was talking about stevia. And he gave a little history on it, which was fascinating, which I won't go into with you, but there's four types of stevia. And um, his concern, and I've seen it on Facebook, w, uh, on Weight Watcher blogs, etc., that, that stevia, that Truvia, is really not as safe as they make it out to be. And this is the reason why. So stevia is taken, of course, um, as we know, uh, Truvia, as we know, stevia is, um, or Truvia's anyway, that little packet is 400 times more, um, more sweet than sugar. And so a little goes a real long way, which is good when, you tell, when I tell you what I'm going to tell you. So anyway, it touts itself as being healthy and an alternative and all natural and this and that. But the doctor uh, who specializes in all this kind of stuff, you know, that you don't see... <laughs> you don't see in mainstream. He said that the Truvia company, of course, got on the bandwagon when they saw that Stevia was going to be a big hit. And um, he says that it is cut with a GMO corn and it is processed 42 times. So if you're thinking that you're getting that leaf taken off a tree from South America and it's crushed and put into that little packet, wrong, wrong, wrong. They treat it. So he said, if you use your Truvia like you're using your yellow, pink, and blue packets, that, you know, it's questionable. And here's the kicker for me. Not one study has been, on, has been done on Truvia. So he laid out the facts about it, the manufacturing part about it that they don't tout, of course, and GMO corn, as we know. So it can, it can play with your body hormones and your tummy. So just keep that in mind when you're using that packet that, um, like so many things that we have today that we think um, are better bad choices or even healthier choices, they even get out of the better bad choice category, um, Aren't that may not be that healthy for you, may not be that safe. Safe, there's the word. Um, like me, going from the um, Coffee Mate um, flavor that I, I was totally in love and addicted to, Italian sweet cream, and sometimes I'd buy the sugar-free, thinking it's a, I don't, not a better bad choice, but whatever. And then I realized that I wanted to make my better bad choice the Coffee Mate Bliss, um, and um, which is cream, sugar, skim milk, and flavorings. But it says that it's natural. So I don't trust that either, of course, because anything made by Nestle, you have to be skeptical about. S spec skeptical. Skeptical about. <laughs> God. Hey, this is only my second cup. So, um... And yesterday, I was in the store, and I got the California Almond Milk um, Coffee Creamer. And somebody had mentioned it on um, one of my posts and said um, that it's delicious and that it is. 15 calories in a tablespoon. But then somebody else put on my um, site, look out for carinogen or some, pronounce something like that. So I googled that, and I must have gotten a real scientific page because I was whatever <laughs> by the time I was done. So I got that, and um, I probably will be showing it in a food hall if I do one tomorrow on my day off. 
Um, anyway, it's delicious. I like it. I don't know. I just, you know, when I have these questionable things, it's just much, much smaller doses um, much, much smaller portions, and, you know, as, as consumers of American food, we do the best we can. We can't all just scour, you know, farmer's markets and CSA um, goodies, you know, we don't even have one on the Cape. So, um, and we can't go to Whole Foods, also known as Whole Paycheck, every single day and drop a couple hundred, you know, just to, just to be sure, and as we know, they were overcharging people. So, you know, they're, they're, nothing's really safe. Um, nothing's really true. Um, can't really trust what the label says all the time. So we do the best that we can, don't we? You know, we pick something, we upgrade, we make better choices, and we try to be educated about our choices or informed about our choices. And that's how we handle, you know, our program. Um, if you've graduated from processed foods, I should say. <laughs> Um, but if you're still relying on a lot of the Weight Watcher products or products like them that come in boxes that have um, these many ingredients on them, then, um, you know, this, this doesn't apply to you yet. But I'm hoping it's the yet, right? Because we're all, we're all in this together to just upgrade and improve um, our health. So the doctor also talked a lot about the leaky gut. And that was very, very interesting. And of course, there's been many studies done about that, especially with autistic kids, about how that happens and how when they give up gluten and another chemical found in something, that they do much, much, much better. And the name is just so, um, it's just so funny that they use it as a medical name, scientific name. But it's got to be miserable and it makes everything go into your system. It's just not nice. And so we have no idea what we put in our intestines sometimes, and we just hope for the best. <laughs> and as we know, the chronic illnesses don't start, for the most of us, for most of us, at 20. You know, it's when we hit our 50s, 60s, 70s, that stuff has been building, and then suddenly, you know, you've got diabetes or prostate cancer or obesity or you have a heart attack or you have a stroke. Um, you know, those things that slowly, slowly build. So getting on the bandwagon younger is, is you, you, if you're young and you're making those changes in your life, you are so lucky. You're so lucky. You don't have to wait until you're 65 like me to like get a clue, get a grip, make a change, right? So that's what this website is all about. That's what this video is all about is um, just beware. Just beware, you know, after he said that about Truvia, once again, I feel like I'm drinking poison. I put, I don't know, just a sprinkle, just a sprinkle. If you're a salt user, it's probably less salt than I, um, than I use for my Truvia, Truvia sprinkle with my, I have my Xyla still. I love my Xyla and la 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 la. I don't want to hear if there's anything wrong with Xyla. It comes from North American hardwood and I love it. And I hope it's not an overprocessed chemical thing. Um, I bought it at Whole Foods, but here again, you know, what do we know? We're just we're just paying the bill with our health and with our with our dollars. So anyway, that's it for now. It's time for me to go have my two organic eggs and my heritage organic farm pork bacon and my roasted asparagus, and my four berries that I replenished yesterday. I'm so excited. All four of them organic. It doesn't get better than that. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful meal. Have a wonderful food um, food day. Stay within your points. Trust the process. Yada, yada, yada. Until the next time, this has been Sarah. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye for now.